Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a really fun card to share with you. It's a fun fold and it's called a double dutch. It opens like this and then it opens like this. Isn't that cool? My friend Kathy Miller made one of these and I said, oh my gosh, I have to do a video on it. So this is what I came up with tonight and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. The first thing I like to do is come in with my card layers and give you all the dimensions. So I have a piece of berry burst and this is four and three sixteenths, which is just one little notch under four and a quarter by nine. Another piece of berry burst that's two by eight and a half. Whisper White, four by five and a quarter. And then I'm using the Pick a Pattern Designer Series paper. And it's got two different patterns of black and white in it. And I just love black and white. And I love this Pick a Pattern paper. So if you haven't um, really investigated that yet, it's got cameras on it and the little camping dudes and some dinosaurs in these fun colors. But the other side of the paper is some really interesting patterns that I have been having a blast with. So this piece is four by three and a quarter. And then I've got two smaller pieces here that are one and three quarters by one and three quarter squares. And you're gonna need scraps of white. So keep that in mind. The first thing I'm gonna do is bring in my paper trimmer and do a little bit of scoring. So our piece that's nine by four and three sixteenths needs to be scored at five and a half inches. So I'm gonna do that. And then our two by eight and a half inch piece needs to be scored at two and an eighth from each end. So I'm gonna score that two and an eighth and two and an eighth. about as hard as this gets. It's a pretty simple card to make. We are going to fold on our score lines and do a little burnishing with the bone folder. Now when you get to this piece I see that my score line is a little bit crooked here so I'm going to make sure I straighten it out and force it with the bone folders. That's why bone folders are so awesome. And I don't want this to be um, have a gap in the middle so I'm also going to butt that up against the other one and force that just a little bit so we have that perfect fold. There, there's your great tip for the day. All right, I already have taken my stitched framelits and this is the biggest oval one and I've die cut a piece of Whisper White and this is what we're going to use for our stamping and I have to show you the stamp set because it is gorgeous. Tranquil Tulips, this is an exclusive hostess set only available to hostesses. So you can only get this if you have a home party or place a $150 order or more. Or you can take your catalog to friends and family and have them order like have a book party and you'll get the stamp and rewards that'll allow you to buy this and you're never going to believe how much it is. $10. Oh my gosh. So inexpensive. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six little flower, seven little flower images, little leaves, the little stamen, is that what they call that? Those little things in there. Um, lots of flower, what do you call the, mm, hmm, stems. There we go, flower stems and some really cool leaves in here too. So this is a great stamp set. I can see some, uh, you know, there's some beautiful things out there made with this. And that is shown on page 223 of our big catalog. So I'm going to bring in my colors here. I use five different colors on this card. I've got Berry Burst, Daffodil Delight, Powder Pink, and Old Olive. We're going to start off with our Berry Burst. And I'm using the two smaller tulips. And I like to use the background one first. It really doesn't matter which one you stamp first. You can stamp whatever you want first. But I'm going to come in here and put a tulip right there 
in the very first, and then another one right up here. Isn't that pretty? I love watercolor um, images, and that's what this is. This is a two-step stamping process. So you stamp once, and then you're gonna stamp right over the top of it again. And isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. Now, good little tip is get these open ink pads away from you so you don't stamp in the wrong color. I'm gonna come in here with the little black thingies that go in the middle of flowers. Yeah, I think they're called, I don't know what they're called. I might be saying something, I just don't wanna say something wrong because I think if I say that word wrong, it has some sexual connotations and we're not going there today. Okay, <laughs> I don't wanna get into that. Now I'm gonna do Daffodil Delight and you've got these two and again, the two-step stamping. I'm just gonna stamp this little guy over here and then I'm gonna do a few more of these just like that and then this is the detailed one you want to put your head right over top of your stamp so you can see what you're doing when these you stamping the um, second part to your flower now I'm gonna come in with old olive and I've got this big leaf that I'm gonna use whoops I'm not doing the leaf yet, I'm doing stems. So let's do that first. I'm gonna use this stem, add that to my flower. And then I've got some little stems here and all of these come in the stamp set, not even kidding. And then I'm going to bring in Oh, I have a little leaf here someplace. Oh, here it is. These little leaves, I really like these for the smaller flowers. So I'm just gonna come in and add some more greenery in here. This kind of helps spruce things up a little bit, and that's pretty. And then I want the big leaves that I tried to use the first time around here. Oh my gosh, isn't this just gorgeous? It's beautiful, just beautiful. Mm, I love it. So excited, I'm a little giddy today. I am now off work. Did you guys know I have another job? Yeah, I know, I'm crazy. Um, I am off work. Today's third, well, it's Thursday. It's gonna be Friday when you see this video, but I am off work until Wednesday next week. Super, super excited about that. Okay, we're gonna take the bigger end of our basic black marker and we're gonna flick some black on here because I just felt like this needed a little something extra. So you're gonna put your marker into your lid and just flick it. So you're just flicking the edge like that. Isn't that cool? I really do like that look. It just kind of tones my white down a little bit. Then the other thing I needed to do was stamp one of these flowers on a scrap. So I'm gonna do the double two-step stamping and don't forget that little inside. Somebody knows what that is, you can tell me. So when I use this set again, I will be able to say it properly. Right now, it's just scaring me. Okay, we're gonna cut this out and this is a super, super easy flower to cut out. There's not a lot of corners and stuff in it, so you know what I mean. So once I go back to work next week, I only have to work on Wednesday and then half a day on Thursday. And then I'm off again. And on Saturday, my daughter Haley and I are going to Thailand on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip. Oh, and we couldn't be more excited. So much going on in the month of July, love it. I'm gonna grab a dimensional and put this on the back of this flower and then attach it to my piece here. And that just gives it that 3D look that makes you look like you are a rock star. I love that, I love looking like a rock star. Okay, now I'm gonna bring my bow jig in. I'm in love, love, love with the wrinkled, crinkled ribbon. I absolutely love it. And I am making the smallest bow here, so my nails are only an inch apart. And I'm gonna make the cutest little tiny bow. 
to go on my oval layer. I noticed tonight that I must have cut something with my um, big scissors here because they're not cutting well and I see there's like a little chink in the in the metal and I'm so sad because uh, I can't get these anymore and they are amazing. Yep, see, it's right there. It just doesn't want to cut. Darn it. Don't you hate it when that happens? It's like you have sewing scissors and your family takes them and starts cutting paper out and you want to just like, you know, punch them in the throat. No, did I just say that? I did. But I mean, seriously, people, you don't use good scissors for stupid things. Okay. <laughs> there, there's my little rant. I'm, I'm done for now. Pretty sad. Oh, look, this is empty. Oh, here's my mini glue dot. So I'm just going to take a little mini glue dot here and put that on the back of my adorable little wrinkled ribbon bow. And I see that my mini glue dot's kind of hanging out there, so I'm going to roll it over so it's not sticking out on my piece here. Oh my gosh, so precious, isn't it? I just want to hug it. All right, and we are going to do some dimensionals on the back of this layer too. And then I'm just gonna set this aside for a second while we do some other things here. All right, back to our card base. This double dutch is so simple. I know that there are, there are descriptions online where it shows it like this and you score it a little bit here and a little bit there and then you cut it out here and oh, Oh, blah, blah, blah. We do not do things the difficult way. If I can find an easy way to show you something, we're doing it the easy way. And this is how my friend Kathy Miller made her card, and it's super, super simple. You just add that extra layer to the back. We're going to fold these in right away to make sure that everything's fitting properly. And it is, so that's exciting. Next comes our designer series paper, and you're just going to glue that right on there. When I'm done with this video, I should have made this a birthday card because I need to make a spectacular birthday card. Haley's birthday is Saturday, July 1st, and she's going to be 23. How does that even happen? And she just got notification that she made the Dean's List again for college. I couldn't be more proud of her. She has worked her butt off. Even with my husband being in the hospital for two weeks, and all that chaos that went on in our life back in April, she still managed to pull off straight A's. She's going to be the most amazing elementary school teacher, I'm telling you. These kids are going to be lucky to have her. Okay, check that out. I love that bold black and white print with the berry burst. It's beautiful. Next, I'm going to take my oval and put that on. Get all these little, I got a little half a dimensional there too. I'm gonna put this right here because it's so pretty. Okay, and then I use the Lots of Labels Framelits, and this is like the third smallest little framelit. I've already die cut this, and I'm just going to stamp some of my yellow flowers on there, and I'm gonna wipe off my blocks because I pushed a little too hard and got the ink all over them, which is, you know, happens. So we're gonna do just a couple of these little flowers. I just wanted to, it's these special little things that you do that make your cards spectacular. Now I could have just stamped a greeting on here, but instead I put some flowers on it too. And I love that look of stamping over top with your words of your little images. I just love that. I think it's really cool. Okay, here's our little stem. We're just going to do that. And that. And then I want to put some of those little leaves in there because I think they're kind of cute. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to like have it take over your project. It's just a little extra accent. Oops, I'm gonna need this again. And then we've got our Memento Black ink. And we're just gonna stamp. 
thanks a bunch right over top. Isn't it cute? Now, remember we did the flicking with the marker on our white panel, our white oval. So we're going to do a little bit of that on this tag too. Just toned it down a little bit. Then I've got a dimensional here. And make sure you put that on the right side. I'm going to put that on the back of the left side. This is going to go right on our card. Right here. What? I know, I'm really singing. Like I said, I am giddy. I am off work. I'm going to be stamping a lot. My mom is coming to visit for Haley's birthday, so that's exciting. We've got a whole day planned Saturday. We are going to go to the farmer's market, which is huge in our town. It's just like like three city blocks filled on both sides. And then we are going to go get Manny Petties, and my mom has never done that before. I know, right? And we have to have it for our trip. So that's gonna be really exciting. I'm using powder pink ink here with these cute little flowers, and this is for the inside of the card. And now, with this little flower, I found that you really have to get your head over top of your image to get these flowers lined up properly. Oh, I did pretty good. Third time's a charm. Now we need some stems. And I'm going to use, oh, let me see. I'm going to use this little stem. And again, I'm just going to wipe off the edge there. So in case I roll it, I don't wreck my layer. I'm going to do stem right there. And one way up to that flower. And then I wanted to do this one a little curved. I don't know why. Because I can, I guess. So I just took it and curved it, just like that. And then I'm gonna come in again with the little leaves, which are, where did they go? Do you guys see them? What did I do with the little leaves? Here they are, don't worry. And put some more greens in here. And you can turn this upside down to make the leaf go the other way, like, this one goes that way, and if you turn it upside down, it goes that way, so that's kind of neat, too. Lots of neat things. I found out a lot of neat things about this stamp set, making this card. We're going to glue this inside. Get your ink pads out of the way so you don't dip your card in them. Have you ever done that, where you open up your card and throw it right in an ink pad? And then you, you know, throw your card, and you, look, I just got ink on or glue on there. These adhesive erasers were fabulous. I'm really sorry that Stampin' Up! does not sell them anymore, but it can really save your buns, and just like it did me. But yeah, throw your card across the room and then stomp your feet like a child. <laughs> I've done that. I'm really kidding. I don't usually behave like that. I'm pretty calm and collected. You can get me riled up, but... I don't usually throw temper tantrums. Life is too short to let things bug you that much, isn't it? So for you, I've had a lot of people asking me how my husband is doing after his big bout with the whole neck surgery disaster where he almost died. And he is hanging in there. You know, the only thing he can do is walk. He's supposed to walk a lot to build up his strength. He really can't do anything with his arms. He can't mow. He can't. You know, he can't do anything because that neck needs to stay stable. And um, the only thing he can do is walk. Well, he went in for an MRI on his knee because his knee is killing him. His good knee, mind you. Not the knee that he had so many problems with and almost lost his leg over a couple years ago. But um, his good knee. And he needs surgery. He's got a torn meniscus. And then this week, he mopped the floor and threw out his lower back, which is where this whole fiasco started. So they operated on his neck, gave him four new vertebrae. He needs surgery on his knee. But the whole problem is his lower back. He needs surgery on that, too. So the guy just can't catch a break. Anyways, thank you so much again for your continued support. And, uh, yeah, he'll never, I'm, I'm sure he's never going back to work. That's just not going to happen. 
and I appreciate your support just so much, and I appreciate even more your thoughts and prayers are just touch our heart like you can't believe. So thank you very much for that. And now back to the fun stuff. Enough about all that, right? Isn't this pretty? I am so happy with the way this card turned out. I think what really does it for me is the pop of just the incredible color. Berry Burst is my favorite color. I absolutely love it. The little bow up here did a lot for me too. So there you go. I will have all these dimensions on my blog. I also want to let you guys know, if you're watching this video on Friday, June 30th, we have a flash sale going on with the Paper Pumpkin. This is an incredible sale. If you have never subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, you can get your kit for $5. The sale only goes through the end of the day Friday. If you did not happen to see my um, video yesterday, this was the Paper Pumpkin kit for June. This is what everybody got. You got enough supplies to make six of these cards with envelopes and four of these cute little bags with the tissue paper, the whole thing, everything comes in there. And then I made a couple alternate projects. This cute little triangular box that looks like a watermelon with some watermelon candies in it. I've been eating these. I've got a whole, where's my bag? I'm down to this much in my bag. <laughs> I've been just munching on these little puppies. Um, there's a video. I have a video on my blog at www.stampabove.com showing how to make this box. And this cute little box, this will fit a Ghirardelli chocolate. Adorable, made again with the paper pumpkin kit supplies. And then I made this sweet card too. So get yourself a paper pumpkin subscription for $5. Your first month is $5. And you can go just completely month to month. And if you get your kit and you decide it's not for you, hey, you can uh, stop your subscription. There is no penalty for that. The other thing I want to tell you is I provide everyone with seven tutorials every month for alternate ideas like this card instead of what came with the kit. Seven tutorials for alternate ideas. So if you get your kit and you're just like, well, I don't know if I really like that card or the cards or whatever came in it, Kelly's gonna come up with some great ideas with the help of her friends to give you some other ideas to make with the kit. So there you go. I want you all to have a spectacular 4th of July weekend. I hope that you are with friends and family. I hope your weather's perfect. I hope you get to see the fabulous fireworks in your location. And make sure you add a little sparkle and send somebody a card. <laughs>